Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Vac Plays the Classics. Alien raiders have conquered the Earth and are in the process of killing the populace. It's up to you, the chosen one, pilot of Magmax. This is Nihon Busan's first game released in the U.S. It's typical side-scrolling shoot 'em up fare, and also not at the same time. You see, there are two different parts to the level. An underground portion, which is straight up side-scrolling as we've seen a million times before, and the above-ground portion, which is more of a 2.5D representation. In both styles, you pilot the Magnets, which is a hovercraft. It shoots with a press of the A or B buttons. Throughout the level, you can come across power-ups that upgrade the Magmax into a bipedal robot. There's an upper torso piece, a lower torso piece. Each piece adds an extra bullet to your shot, allowing you to cover more ground. There's also a wave gun upgrade that you can acquire when you have the upper torso piece. The beam destroys otherwise impervious obstacles on the ground. If you get hit, you lose the torso piece that was struck. If you get hit again, you lose the other piece, and the third time will cause a loss of life. It's always a pain in the butt when you already have the upper torso and wave gun, and that's what power-ups are in your path. There are great ovals that you can step on to warp to the underground portion of the level. I found the underground to be easier than the above ground. As you continue on, you'll run into a boss that must be destroyed to move to the next section. There are four sections, forest, desert, ocean, and town, that you loot through over and over again until you run out of lives. There's not a lot to this one. When it comes to grading Mag Max on NES, graphics get a 1.5. Graphics are nothing to write home about. I give it some credit for trying the 2.5D perspective. Sound gets a 1.0. I wasn't blown away by the music or sound effects. In fact, it seemed that the sound effects would override the music sometimes, which I don't like. Gameplay gets a 2.0. There are power-ups in the movements between above and underground, which is novel. Difficulty gets a 1.5. The enemies each follow patterns, so the difficulty comes from not learning or reacting to them correctly. Fun Factor gets a 1.5. I wasn't having a lot of fun, but I've had far less with other shooting ones. Overall, Mag Max earns a 1.5, gets a C minus. It's another middle of the road shooter on a system with a ton of Worth a bargain bin pickup. Well, that's gonna do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Mag Max in the comments. Please subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release, because it is your destiny.